and welcome to Feast in the Middle East. And today is special because we're celebrating my Baba's birthday. Yay! And to surprise the family, I wanted to share a dessert with them that most of them have never had before. And immediately I thought of Halawat el Jibin. This dessert, which is super popular in Lebanon and Syria, means sweetness of the cheese in Arabic. There are basically sweet cheese and semolina rolls that are filled with sweet cream and then drizzled with syrup and pistachios and sometimes even candied rose petals. Sometimes they're flavored with orange blossom water or rose flower water, but I made mine simple by flavoring them with vanilla extract. What I really love about Halawa Tijibin is it's basically like a cheese course and a dessert rolled into one and cute little bite-sized pieces for portion control. Now I experimented so much with this recipe, I had to throw away a lot of batches until I found the perfect combination of flavors and textures, and I can't wait to share it with you. These particular halawa tijibin are soft, creamy, and perfectly sweet, and it'll be really hard to stop at just one. So with that, let's get to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it. All right, we're gonna start by making the Arab style pastry cream called ashta, used as the filling for halawa jibin. We're gonna start with one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch, followed by one tablespoon of flour. To add a mild sweetness to the filling, I'm only adding two tablespoons of sugar. To flavor the filling, you can use a tablespoon of rose flower water, but not everyone in my family likes that, so I'm using a teaspoon of vanilla extract instead, which is also easier to find for most people. Notice, I am whisking everything together before turning on the heat to prevent clumping. Once it's thoroughly combined, I'm turning on the heat to medium high and I'm going to wait for it to boil and then I'm going to reduce heat to a simmer and keep whisking for about a minute more. It should get pretty thick. This is the consistency you want. As you can see, it doesn't even really stick to the edges anymore. Now it's time to pour it into a bowl, cover and refrigerate for a minimum of two hours. You can refrigerate this mixture for up to three days if you need to. Now we're going to work on the outside of halawa jibin, which is like a thick and cheesy crepe. I started with a cup of whole milk and to that I'm going to add a third cup of sugar. Then I'm going to add a third cup of semolina and honestly just these three ingredients combined are delicious enough to eat alone for breakfast, but this will be the outside of the halawa jibin. All you have to do is whisk this mixture over medium high heat until the semolina is cooked through, which will take about a minute or two. Then I added two cups of grated fresh mozzarella cheese. Now I have a question for my East Coast Italian friends. I wonder why you pronounce it mozzarella instead of mozzarella. I mean, we've got pizza, pasta, carbonara, parmigiana, but then you hack off the A on mozzarella. If you have the answer, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, you got to keep whisking this mixture. Check this out. It's like a mozzarella dough. It's beautiful. It's like a fondue dough and you have to work very quickly. Have some parchment paper ready on the counter so that you could transfer this mixture onto it immediately. So while the mixture is still warm, as you can see here, I'm plopping it right onto the parchment paper and I'm going to put another layer of parchment paper on top so that I can roll it into a nice big rectangle. Then all you have to do is carefully remove the parchment paper from the top. It comes off pretty easily and trim the sides so that it makes a perfect rectangle. At this point, you could eat those trimmings or give it to the people lurking around you, wondering what the hell you're up to. So here is the ashta cream after it has been sitting in the refrigerator for about two hours and these are ready to fill. You can smooth it out or you can do it the way I'm doing it. Just put some in the middle and you're gonna roll them up in sort of crepes that you're gonna slice. This recipe should make three good sized rolls that you're gonna then cut up into smaller pieces. My suggestion is to cut each one in about six pieces, so you'll have about 18 pieces total. Look at how delicious this looks. We're not even done with this yet, guys. 
We're gonna drizzle these with sugar syrup and all you need is a cup of water and a cup of sugar on low heat for about seven minutes. And there you go. You've got your sugar syrup to go on top of each one. Traditionally, these are also topped with chopped pistachios, which add color and crunch, as well as candied rose petals. Now, candied rose petals are another recipe to make, and they're hard to find, so what I use instead are freeze-dried strawberries. To be honest, I like the taste of strawberries over the taste of roses, but it's all a matter of personal preference. I can't wait to share these with the family. And of course, it is always imperative for quality control that you try one first to see how it tastes. For us, parties are a family affair. Everybody has their role to play from my dad at the grill to the kids helping with serving and cleanup to my mom, of course, making some absolutely incredible Middle Eastern cuisine. On the menu are those steaks smothered with this creamy mushroom sauce and no veggie is safe from getting stuffed. Like these zucchini stuffed with lamb and rice and a tomato sauce called kusamashi, as well as yellow squash and a yogurt sauce. And no party's complete without stuffed grape leaves known as wedek anip. Now you can get these recipes from my channel or cookbook at feastinthemiddleeast.com. You didn't think we'd have traditional birthday cake, did you? For us, any celebration is an excuse to eat kanafa. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my video on this dessert, which I will link in the card above. Thanks to all of you for joining our family for this party and subscribe to get my latest videos. See you all soon. Love you, Baba.